It's China. You. Come on, I want to hear everything. Everything. Well, this is Julie. Uh, Julie, this is Rachel. Hi. I think she's trying to tell us something. Ow. You! You! You look to me like me! You! 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 So what, folks? That's all right, Rich. We got the bag. Everyone, this is Julie. Oh. Hi. I'll make a much better first impression tomorrow when I don't have 20 hours of cabin playing on me. And tell, you got to hear this story. Uh, we're on this bus that's easily 200 years old, e right? 200 at least. And this guy... And the chicken poops in her lap! <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I just gave away the ending, didn't I? Oh, it's just, I just heard this story in the cab, and it is all I can think about. <laughs> How did this happen? Well, Ross and I were in grad school together. Well, I land in China. Guess who's in charge of the dig? Julie! Julie, isn't that great? I mean, isn't that just kick you in the crotch, spit on your neck, fantastic? Hey, we, we just wanted to say a quick hi. Bye. Bye. No, okay. No, you hang up. No, you... Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Well, you didn't hang up either. She didn't hang up. <laughs> okay, no, you hang up. You, you, you. Sorry, I thought you were talking to me. Okay, 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 okay. How did this happen to me? How did this happen to me? A week ago, two weeks ago, I was fine. Ross was just Ross, just this guy. Now all of a sudden he's Ross. Oh, this really great guy that I can't have. Oh, I'm just gonna deal with it. Just gonna deal with it. I gotta get out of here. Uh, morning. Okay. Hey, do you guys think you could uh, close your eyes for just a sec? What's going on? Well, I, I sort of did a stupid thing last night. Buongiorno a tutti. Can you be on your way, okay? okay. okay. Bye-bye. Uh... Rachel, how did this happen? I don't know, I just kind of ran into him last night. Where? At his apartment. Is this juice? <laughs> whoa, whoa. And the fact that you dumped him because he hit on Phoebe? Oh, God, I know I'm pathetic. I'm a loser. Hi. Hey. Hey. Hi. Sorry we're late. We were, uh... Well, there was touching. <laughs> um, uh, oh, hey, hey, Ross. hey, Paul. <laughs> what, uh, what, uh, what are you doing here? Uh, I do Raquel. Uh. <laughs> he's back. Yeah, he's back. Is that a problem? No, not a problem. Good. Glad it's not a problem. Ugh, Joey, when I saw him get off that plane with her, I really thought I'd just hit rock bottom. But today, it's like there's rock bottom, 50 feet of crap, then me. You gotta tell Ross how you feel. Oh, come on. H, I've never felt about anyone the way Ross felt about you. Well, uh, can, can I talk to you for a sec? Okay. What's going on? Um, okay, first of all, mm -hmm. Paolo and I are not back together. That was just a stupid thing that I did, <clears throat> and if I could go back in time and do it again, well, I wouldn't. Okay. Um, well, then I think uh, I think the guy's scum. I mean, I, I actually, I, I physically hate him. And you, you are, you're way too good to be with a guy like that. You deserve to be with someone who appreciates you, you know, and who gets how, how funny and sweet and amazing and adorable and sexy you are, you know? Someone who, who wakes up every morning thinking, oh, oh my God, I'm, I, I'm with Rachel. <laughs> 
You know, someone, someone who makes you feel good. Like, like the way I do with Julie. Here we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> mm. Okay. You something? Sure. What's the most you've been in a relationship before ha having having the sex? Why? Who's not having? Are you and Julie not? Are, are you and are you and Julie not having sex? Technically, <laughs> no. It's me. Hmm. You, you know, I've only been with one woman my whole life, and she turned out to be a lesbian. Uh -huh. So now I've got myself all psyched out, you know, and you, know, you must just think I'm weird. No, 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 I don't think it's weird. I think it's sexy. Sexy? Let me tell you something. As a woman, yeah. there is nothing sexier than a man who does not want to have sex. <laughs> No kidding. Oh, yeah. In fact, you know what I'd do? What? I'd wait. You'd wait? I don't care how much she tells you she wants it. I don't care if she begs, she pleads, she tells you she, she's going to have sex with, with another man. That just means it's working. Oh, women really want this? More than jewelry. <laughs> I just I wanted to thank you for our, uh, a little talk before. Oh, God, no problem. Okay. So you're going to go with the uh, waiting thing? Well, I was going to, but after I talked to you, I talked to Joey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, did, what did he say? Basically, he told me to get over myself and just do it. Oh. You know? So I thought about what you said, and I thought about what he said, and, well, his way I get to have sex tonight. Oh, so, God. Uh, <laughs> Good night. Mm. Oh. So, Good night. Good night. Mm. it's pretty late. You're probably uh, not still planning on... Oh, no, no, I am. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna see, see what happens. Yeah. Okay, good luck. So what? But the first time doesn't go well, well then that's, that's pretty darn hard to recover from. <laughs> okay, now I'm nervous. Maybe you should put it off. No, no, I don't want to put it off. I spent last year being so unbelievably miserable, you know, and now, now, I'm actually happy. <laughs> you know, I mean, really happy. I just, I just don't want to, I don't want to mess it up. I know, I'm sorry. I mean, maybe you were on the right track with that whole, you know, spontaneous thing. I mean, women really like that. Really? I mean, if it were me, I, yeah. I, you know, I'd want you to, like, a really good kiss. Sort of, um, soft at first. And then maybe, um, brush the hair away from my face. Uh. And then look at far into my eyes in a way that lets me know something amazing is about to happen. Mm-hmm. You'd pull me really close to you so that... So that I'd be pressed up, you know, right against you. And, um, it would get kind of sweaty and, uh, and blurry. And then it's just happening. Thanks, Rach. Good night. <laughs> Hi guys. Hey. hey. You getting a cat? Uh, actually, we're getting a cat. <laughs> Together? Uh huh. Both of you? Yep. Together? <laughs> That's something the two of you will be able to enjoy for a really, 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 really long time. Hopefully. Oh. <laughs> wow. Whoa! Look at that. I gotta go. I got a date with a man. <clears throat> I mean, it's a cat. You know, it's a, it's a cat. I've been through a divorce. Trust me, you're gonna be fine. You just can't see it now because you haven't had any closure. No! Closure!
That's what it is. That's what I need. God, you're brilliant. Ross, hi. It's Rachel. I'm just calling to say that um, everything's fine. And I'm really happy for you and your cat. <laughs> and, you know, you see there, I'm thinking of names, so obviously I am over you. I am over you. And that, my friend, is what they call closure. <laughs> Oh. And how was the date? I know there was wine. What? Why? Why are you looking at me like that? I feel like I had a dream about you last night, but I don't remember. Okay. Did we speak on the phone last night? Did you call me? No. I stayed at Julie's last night. Huh. Oh, actually, I haven't even been home yet. Do you mind if I check my messages? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Rach, I got a message from you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ross, no, hang up the phone. Give me the phone, Ross. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. You're over me? Oh, God. What? Well, you're, uh... Oh, God. You're, you're over me? Oh, God. Oh, God. When... Oh, God. When were you... Under me? Oh. Rach. Oh. Rachel, do you... Okay, okay. Well, basically, <clears throat> lately, I've, uh, <clears throat> I've, uh, sort of had feelings for you. You've had feelings for me? Yeah, what? So? You had feelings for me first? Whoa. Huh. You know about my, I mean, you know I had, you, you know? You... Chandler told Chandler. me. Chandler. When did he, when did he, when did he? When you were in China. China. Meeting Julie. Julie. Okay, so you, uh, and now what, and now, now, now you're over me? Are you over me? <laughs> that's, that's Julie. Wait, so you're going? Well, okay, I, uh, I have to. I can't deal with this right now. I mean, I've, uh, you know, I've got a cat. I've got a girlfriend. I'm, I'm gonna go get a cat. Okay, okay. Cat. I didn't get a cat. Oh, that's, um, interesting. No, no, it's not interesting. You had no right to tell me you ever had feelings for me. I was doing great with Julie before I found out about you. Hey, I was doing great before I found out about you. You think it's easy for me to see you with Julie? Well, then you should have said something before I met her. I didn't know then. And how come you never said anything to me? But there was never a good time. I don't need this right now. Okay, it's it's too late. I'm with somebody else. I'm happy. This ship has sailed. Okay, so what do you say? You can just sort of put away feelings or whatever the hell it was that you felt for hey, me. Hey, I've been doing it since the ninth grade. I've gotten pretty damn good at it. All right, fine. You go ahead and you do that, all, all right, right, Ross? All right. I don't need your stupid shit. Good.
kissed me. No! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Unbelievable! Was it like was it like a soft brush against your lips, or was it like a you know I gotta have you now kind of thing? <laughs> well, at first it was really intense, you know, and then. Oh, God, and then we just sort of sunk into it. Oh, so, okay, was he holding you, or, like, or was his hands, like, on your back? And, you know. No, actually, first they, they, were, they started out on my waist, and then they slid up, and then they were in my hair. Oh. oh. <laughs> and, uh, and then I kissed her. Tongue? Yeah. Cool. All right. Hey, hey. Oh, so, um, how'd you make out last night? That, that is funny. That is painfully funny. No, wait, wait. Yeah, that's just painful. I get home, okay, and I see Julie's saline solution on my night table, and I'm thinking to myself, oh, my God, what the hell am I doing? Wait a minute, we're talking about Rachel here. You and Rachel. Uh, believe me, I've been dreaming about me and Rachel for, like, ten years now, but now I'm with Julie. You know, so it's like me and Julie, me and Rachel. Me and Julie, me and Ra Rachel. Rachel. You. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Good. Um, Hi, honey. Hi, Julie. Hi, Julie. <laughs> Julie. Hey. 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 Did uh, Ross call? No, I'm sorry. Why didn't he call? He's gonna stay with Julie, isn't he? I don't know what I'm gonna do. What am I gonna do? I mean, this this is like a complete nightmare. Okay, all right, look, let's get logical about this, okay? We'll make a list. Rachel and Julie, uh, pros and cons. So, uh, let's start with the cons, because they're more fun. <laughs> Rachel first. All right, I guess you can say she's, she's a little spoiled sometimes. I guess, you know, sometimes she's, she's a little ditzy, you know? <laughs> and I've, I've seen her be a little too into her looks. But, oh, and like Julie and I, we have a lot in common because we're both paleontologists, right? But, I mean, Rachel's just a waitress. Waitress. Okay, let's do Julie. What's wrong with her? She's not Rachel. So how'd it go with Julie? Did you, did you break her heart? Yes. It was horrible. I did the right thing. Hey, do you guys have... I, uh, I just got back from, uh, from Julie's. Oh. He broke up with Julie. <laughs> well, go hug her, for God's sakes. Really? Really. It's always been you, Rach. Oh, God. This is good. This is really good. I know, I know. What do you say we go take a walk? Just us, not them? Let <laughs> me get my coat. Okay. No, hey, whoa, whoa. I'll get your coat. Okay. This is unbelievable! What's that? What is this? Okay, just, just remember how crazy I am about you, okay? Kind of ditzy. <clears throat> Too into her looks. Spoiled. Just a waitress? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, look at the other side. Look at Julie's column. She's not Rachel? Rachel, come on. Rach. Rach. Rach, no, no, no. It's, it's, she's not Rachel. She's, she's not. Ra Rachel. does not buzz you in, Ross. That means go away. That doesn't mean please climb up the fire escape. Come on, you, you gotta give me another chance. No. No? That's what I said. Imagine the worst things you think about yourself. Now, how would you feel if the one person that you trusted the most in the world not only thinks them too, but actually uses them as reasons not to be with you? You know what? If, if things were the other way around... There is nothing you could put on a list that would, that would ever make me not want to be with you. Then I guess that's the difference between us. See, I'd never make a list.
I uh, got you a little present. I'll open it. It's a slinky. <laughs> Remember, huh? For walks downstairs, alone or in pairs, everyone knows it's just a big spring. <laughs> All right, you're still mad at me because of the whole... The horrible and degrading list of reasons not to be with me? How about from now on we just call it the unfortunate incident? <laughs> hey, Rach, <clears throat> you know what? I think, I think I know what'll make you feel better. How about you make a list about me? Forget it, Ross. No, I'm not going to stand on, here Rach, and make I a list of... Okay, you're whiny, it... you are obsessive... <laughs> You are insecure, you're, you're gutless, <laughs> you know, you don't ever, you don't just sort of seize the day, you know, you liked me for, what, a year and you didn't do anything about it, and, uh, oh, you wear too much of that gel in your hair. <laughs> See, there you, you uh, all right, you, you did what I said. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? Hmm. You're right. I do feel better. Thank you, Ross. <laughs> What time do you get off? We're all gonna do something tonight. I uh, I have a I have a date. What? With a man? <laughs> what is so strange about me having a date? What about Ross? I mean, are you still mad at him because he made that list about? Him? No, no, I'm not mad at him. I'm I'm not really anything at him anymore. Hey, what are you talking about? I don't know. I, whatever I was feeling, I'm not. But you guys came so close. Oh, I know. I'm sorry, you guys. You're just going to have to get used to the fact that I will not be dating Ross. Here he is. Hi. <laughs> guys, this is Russ. Hi. Doesn't, doesn't Russ just remind you of, of someone? Huh. Bob Saget? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hi. Oh, my. Oh. What? What's wrong? Ross, 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 Ross. <laughs> Hi. Hi. You are the uh, paleontologist. Yes. Yes, I am. And you are a. <laughs> periodontist. I, uh. Well, I, I met Russ. <laughs> oh. Hey, I didn't know we were, uh. Seeing other people? Well, we're not seeing each other, huh. so... Well, uh, for your information, there's a woman at the museum. Well, so far I've been keeping her at bay, but uh, if this is the deal... Well, well yeah, then, this uh... is the deal. Okay, well, um, have a nice evening. Thank you. Mm, Russ, you ready? Yeah. Bye. 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 She's dating? She's dating? Yes, yes, but... Did you see who she was dating? <laughs> what do you mean? Do you not see it? See what? I don't know what she's seasoned in that goober. Wait, you don't see it? You actually don't see it? What? Okay, honey, you're dating Ross. No, Fabes, I'm dating Russ. Russ is Ross. Baby, what the hell are you talking about? Other than their names being similar, I'm sorry. I do not see what you're seeing. I know what your problem is. Oh, you do, do you? Mm-hmm. You're jealous. Uh, of, of what? You're jealous because I'm a real doctor. <laughs> hey, you're a doctor of gums. That's the smallest body part you can major in. It's like day one floss, day two, here's your diploma. You listen. No, no, let me finish. No, let me finish. No, you let me finish. Hi. Hi. Ew. Ew. Yellow. <clears throat> no, Rachel's not here right now. Can I take a message? All right. And how do we spell Casey? Is it like at the bat or and the sunshine band? <laughs> okay. Bye bye. I don't get. I don't get it. I mean, like two months ago, Rachel and I were like this close. Right now, what? I'm taking messages from guys. She she meets at the movies. Hang in there. It's gonna happen. What? Well, Okay, now how do you know that? Because she's your lobster. <laughs> Come on, you guys. It's a known fact that lobsters fall in love and mate for life. 
And you know what? You can actually see old lobster couples walking around their tank, you know, holding claws. Like... Excuse me. Are you Rachel? What? I'm Ross Geller. Well, I'm God, in your ad, you said you were pretty, but wow. <laughs> you sure will. What? I've, uh... Gotta go. Oh, right. I'll, I'll, take care. Okay. 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 See you later. Oh. Nice meeting you. You're welcome. What? I was saving you. Save you. Save me. Save me from the pleasant conversation with the interesting man. Oh, see, from where I was sitting. Okay, I... Ross, listen to me. I am not yours to save. But you are. What? Uh, well, you um, you're my lobster. <laughs> Okay, forget forget the lobsters. Okay, we're let's talk. What about us? Ross, there is no us. Okay. No, but, but... Uh, no. Listen to me. I fell for you, and I get clobbered. You then fall for me, and I again somehow get clobbered. I'm tired of being clobbered. You know, it's it's just not worth it. Well, but but what no, we... but Ross, we are never gonna happen. Okay, except that. Except. Except that what? <laughs> no. No. Accept that. Oh. Monica, what's on this videotape? I don't know, you got me. You put it in. Oh. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hmm. Oh, here, yeah, Jack. Okay. I see Rachel's coming up the path. Oh, doesn't she look pretty, Jack? Can you get this? <laughs> oh, my God. You know what this is? This is us getting ready for the prom. You know what, you guys? We don't have to watch this. Oh, yeah, we do. Fun. 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 You look really pretty tonight. Oh, thanks. <laughs> So, uh, what are you gonna do this summer? Oh, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hang out, work on my music. Does my hook unhook these things keep falling down? I can't pick them up. Uh, hold, let me see, I don't know. So what are you gonna do? No, the guys are here! This summer. <laughs> Where's Chip? Why isn't he here yet? He'll be here, okay? Take a chill pill. I can't go to my own prom without a date. I can't. It's too late. Well, if you don't, if you're not going, then I don't want to go either. No. I have a wonderful idea. You should take Rachel to the prom. <laughs> Doubtful. Your mother's right. Take her. You could wear my tux. Dad, she wouldn't want to go with me. Of course she would. You're a college man. Okay. Oh, my boy. Atta boy. Atta boy. Okay, you guys, you know, I think we've seen enough. Let's turn no, it off. No, 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 Okay, fine. Well, I'm not going to watch, all right? <laughs> okay, Dad. Rachel, ready or not, here comes your knight in shining. Oh, no. Bye, children. Okay, Oh, dear. Hi, Press the button. Which one? Which button, Jack? Your day. Well, you know, pretty much the usual. Uh, sun shining, birds chirping. Really? Mine too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta get to the museum, so um, I'll see you tonight. Okay. Hi, <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, guys. Hi. Hi. Uh, what's tonight? It is our first official date. Our first date.
Monica? <laughs> it really helped when I'm kissing if you didn't shout out my sister's name. Hey, I'm just checking. Oh. <clears throat> Monica? Mom? <laughs> what? I'm sorry. It's just that when you moved your hands down to my butt, it was like, whoa, Ross's hands are on my butt. <laughs> I mean, it's you. You know, it's us. Mm. I mean, we're crossing that line. It's sort of a big thing. <laughs> okay, my hands were nowhere near your butt. I promise. I'm good. I'm not going to laugh anymore. Okay. I, I'm, I'm, okay, put your hands back up. No, see, now now I can't because uh, I'm feeling too self-conscious. Just one cheek. No, <laughs> the moment's gone. You know? All right, well, just put your hands out and I'll back up into it. That's romantic. Come on, touch it. No. Oh, come on, squeeze it. No. Uh, rub it? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, come on, would you just grab my ass? <sighs> okay, listen. I'm sorry about last night, and I really want to make it up to you. No, you, you know, there's no need to make it up. How? Well, I was thinking maybe a, um, <clears throat> a romantic dinner with um, candles and wine, and then uh, maybe going back to my place for um, dessert. Hmm, that sounds um, perfect. <laughs> I can't believe this. Look, Homo Habilis hasn't even learned how to use tools yet, and they've got him here with, with clay pots. Why don't, why don't they just give him a microwave? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry this is taking so long. You know, I, I, it's no. just it's longer than I expected. We will have dinner. What is this? What are we doing? Shh. Do you want cran apple or cran grape? Grape. Uh, okay, now. Sit. <laughs> okay. Listen, I'm sorry I had to work tonight. No, oh, that's okay. You were worth the wait. Oh. And I don't just mean tonight. just rolled over the juice box. I'm waking up next to you. So what's what's your magic number? Oh. Come on, you know everyone I've been with, all both of them. Well, <clears throat> there's you. Better not be doing these in order. Okay, uh, Billy Dreskin, Pete Carney, oh. Barry, and uh, oh, uh, Paolo. Oh uh, yes, the weenie from Torini. Jealous of Paolo. Mm. Oh, come on. I'm so much happier with you than I ever was with him. Really? Oh, please. That Paolo thing was barely a relationship. All it really was was just, you know, meaningless animal sex. <laughs> okay, you know, that sounded so much better in my head. <laughs> oh, Ross. Ross, please listen to me. Ross, you are so much better for me than Paolo ever was. I mean, you care about me. You're loving. You make me laugh. Oh, hey, if I make you laugh, 
Here's an idea. Why don't you invite Paula over to have a little romp in the sack, and I'll just stand in the corner and tell Knock Knock Jokes. Yes! <laughs> Animal sex? Animal sex? <laughs> so what are you saying? I mean, you're saying that, like, there's nothing between us animal at all? I mean, there's not even, like, um, a little animal? Not even, not even like, like, chipmunk sex? Okay, Ross, try to hear me, okay? I, hey, I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, it was good with Paolo. Knock, knock. But <laughs> what you and I have is so much better. Okay, we have tenderness. We have intimacy. We connect. You know, I swear, this is the best I have ever had. Until now. Ah! <laughs> oh, Rachel, you have to read this book. It's called... Be your own windkeeper. Oh, it's about how women need to become more empowered. Yeah, and oh, and but there's there's wind. <laughs> and the wind can make us goddesses. But do you know who takes our wind? Men. They just take it. Hey you guys. Hey. Uh sweetie, we've gotta go. No! No? <laughs> no! Why do we always have to do everything according to your timetable? Actually, it's the movie theater that has the time table. <laughs> it's so you don't miss the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, this isn't about the movie theater. This is about you stealing my wind. Your, uh, your, your wind? Yes, my wind. How do you expect me to grow if you won't let me blow? <laughs> You, you know I, I don't have a, have a, a problem with that. Hi, we're visiting. Yes. It's Ben and his dad. -da. Hey, would you, uh, would you hold him for a sec? Cause I, I gotta take this off. Oh, yeah. There it is. Sure. Okay. What are you doing? Uh, I'm holding Ben. Yeah, well, he's a baby, not a bomb. Okay. Well, just hold him like you'd hold a football. This is how I would hold a football. Okay, here, here. There we go. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just not very good with babies. Yeah. I mean, I haven't been around them. I mean, you know, since I was one. <laughs> it's all right. It's no big deal. Really? Yeah, definitely. I'm sure you'll feel totally different when it's our baby. What? You th think about stuff like that? Uh, yeah. I mean, actually, I kind of think that we'll have we'll have two babies. Two, two babies? Yeah. You know, a boy and a girl. Hopefully, the girl will come first, so Ben here won't feel too competitive. You know? well, uh, uh, then what's gonna happen? Well, we won't want to raise kids in the city, so we'll probably move to uh, Scarsdale. Uh -huh. Yeah, that way, I figure, you know, we'll be far enough away from our parents that we don't have to see them all the time, but close enough that they can come over and babysit whenever we want. And yes, I know the taxes are a little higher than, let's say, Nassau County, but the school system's supposedly great. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's great. <laughs> great. Okay, wow, you know what? Huh. I'm off my break now, so, uh, um, here, you take this, and, um... <laughs> I am going to go pour these very nice people some coffee. Okay. Oh, look at that. I don't have a pot. <laughs> I don't have a pot. Well, hey, maybe I've got one at home or in Scarsdale. Hey, is that a door? Okay. What the hell happened back there? I don't know. You tell me. One minute I'm holding Ben like a football, the next thing I know I've got two kids, I'm living in Scarsdale complaining about the taxes. Well, I'm sorry, I think about stuff, you know? Uh, Ross, you have planned out the next 20 years of our lives, we've been dating for six weeks. Oh, come on, what, you never think about our future? Yes, but I, I think about whose apartment we're going to sleep at tomorrow night and, and where we're going to have dinner next Saturday night. I do not think about what our children's names are going to be. You know what our children's names are going to be. <laughs> 
<laughs> no. No. I mean, you know, I, I read a book, and there was a girl named Emily, and I thought, I thought that might be good. What was the book? The big book of children's name. <laughs> okay, Ross, Ross, okay, listen. What we have is amazing. Yeah. But I do not want to have everything decided for me. I spent my whole life like that. I, it's what I had with Barry. That was one of the reasons I left. I, I like not knowing right now. And I'm sorry if that scares you, but if you want to be with me, you're going to have to deal with that. Okay, fine. Thank you. We're not done. I didn't know that. <laughs> okay, then you're going to have to understand that you're with a guy who's not going to stop planning his future with you because he knows we're going to end up together. And if that scares you, tough. Because you're going to have to deal with that. Fine, I will. Good, because I love you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, I love you, too. Well, that's the first time we've said that. Yes, it is. Well, I'm going to kiss you. Well, you better. <laughs> i better get out of here. I'm going to miss my flight. Okay, I'll walk you out. Okay. Bye, Ray. Nice Pleasure. to meet you. Take care. So, do you uh, think we can get you one of those uh, uniform things? You like that, do ya? Oh, yeah. I'll make some calls. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, we're clo- <laughs> Hey, sailor. Is this what you had in mind? <laughs> I'll say. <laughs> I'm shipping out tomorrow. Well, then, uh... We better make this knife count. Oh, wait, I forgot to turn off the cappuccino machine. <laughs> and he's away. <laughs> oh, my purse, my purse, my purse, my purse, my purse, my purse. <laughs> You know what? I forgot to turn off the bathroom light. It just... All right, you know, why don't I just meet you upstairs? <laughs> Come on out, honey. I'm telling you, you look good. Tell her she looks good. Tell her she looks good. <laughs> I have to walk down the aisle in front of 200 people looking like something you drink when you're nauseous. So don't. I don't see why we have to go to this thing anyway. It's your, your ex fiance's wedding. Because I promised Mindy I would. Look, you guys, I have to go. I'm the maid of honor. And besides, you know what? I just need to be in a room again with these people and feel good about myself. There. Hi. Are you all right? Yeah, but when I was in the bathroom, I saw the window that I crawled out of at my wedding, and God, I just started thinking I shouldn't be here, you know? I shouldn't. People are going to be looking at me and judging me and, and thinking about the last time. Sweetie, it's going to be okay, all right? It's a wedding. Generally, people focus on the bride. Okay, I'll see you after the thing. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Mwah. Okay. 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 Ah. Huh. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was I supposed to do? Stand up and shout, hey, wait till your butt is showing. Oh my God, this is so humiliating. I think the only thing that tops that one was, was, was when I was in eighth grade and I had to sing the Copacabana in front of the entire school. I think I got two lines into it before I ran and freaked out. Oh my God, my entire life's flashing before my eyes. Rich, hey, look, I remember that. It wasn't so bad. Oh, Ross, would you stop? You got me. I'm dating you. Um, I have a question for you guys. Why do people keep saying it's good to see me up and about? Well, uh, after you ran out on your wedding, Barry's parents told people you were sort of insane. <laughs> insane? From the syphilis. What? <laughs> no. Or are they going to say you didn't love me anymore? Come on. I wish you both a, a wonderful life together. Aww. And Rachel. What? There's not a lot of women who would have had the guts to come back here tonight. And even fewer who do it with their asses hanging out. Uh, I'd like to, uh, to add something to that. What are you adding? Just, Why are you adding? Okay. Uh, I'm Rachel's boyfriend. Oh, dear God. Uh, I'd just like to say that it did take a lot of courage for Rachel to come here tonight. 
see you in the parking lot. No, wait. And once again, she is out of here. Okay, who had 945? Hmm? You know what, Bear? I'm not going to leave. I probably should, but I'm not. See, because I promised myself I would make it through at least one of your weddings. I guess there's nothing really left to uh, say. <clears throat> Except, um... Her name was Lola. <laughs> she was a showgirl. With yellow feather feathers in her hair. And the dress cut down to there. She, she would... Meringue. Meringue. Thank you, honey. <laughs> and do the cha-cha. And while she'd like to be a star, Tony always tended bar. Uh, wait, wait. I, everybody. 